these patterns arise out of things that just appear in algorithms anyways. So they're going to appear in algorithms, you know, whether or not the hardware supports them. And you can emulate all the patterns with the current feature set of processors today. But patterns are, as you're implying, they're actually a good target for optimization. Because, you know, if a gather is an important operation in some algorithm, and you introduce hardware that makes gathers more efficient in a certain processor, that processor will be better at executing that class of algorithms that use gathers a lot. So, I mean, patterns are important because you can kind of look at a bunch of algorithms and say, okay, these algorithms use that pattern. And I, I think that that class of algorithms is important for a certain application space, so I'm going to, I'm going to focus on optimizing those patterns. So patterns are a good way to sort of structure uh, uh, things. The other place is in design of programming languages. If you're targeting a certain application area, which a certain pattern is common, then including an explicit primitive in the program model for that pattern makes it easier to write code for that application domain. Now, you said a rich set, and I just want to get back to that. So rich can mean lots of, or it can mean powerful, I guess. So, and, and actually we have, I guess there's about 16 patterns altogether, um, but there are actually about eight data patterns and eight control patterns. And, uh, and these patterns, I mean, it, it's actually a pretty small set, and then it's actually, in some sense, and it's actually closed, in that, you know, we, we sort of stopped uh, finding new patterns that weren't just combinations of previous patterns. There might have to be more patterns out there. I'm not, I'm not sure it's totally closed, but I think we have a pretty good handle on what the important patterns are uh, in this space and the, how they, they, they can combine. Now, um, the reason I call the book Structured Parallel Programming is because these patterns kind of remind me of structure control flow in serial programming. So in serial programming, you had things like iteration, selection, recursion, sequencing. And you know you can sort of build up algorithms by sort of stacking these patterns together, by nesting these patterns together. And that gives you sort of the structured style of programming that came out of Pascal, right? Mm -hmm. Where you have like a block structured language. And this style of programming kind of replaced the use of GoTo that was used in previous languages and led to a more you know, methodical way to describe algorithms. Now, it turns out that structured programs cannot describe everything that a GoTo-based program can. There are things you can do with GoTo you cannot do with structured control flow. But they're pretty rare, and they're, they're kind of bizarre. And you, know, it, it, you can usually do something else with structured control flow that's just as good. So that's the same kind of style with these parallel patterns. We have a set of structured you know, things you can nest together and stack to build complicated algorithms. And the equivalent of go-to there is like just arbitrary threading. So you can do all kinds of crazy things with threads, but 95% of those crazy things are not useful, right? And they actually destroy the, pro the structure of your code and lead to um, unanticipated non-determinism and errors and race conditions. So what we do with these patterns is said, look, here are some best known practices um, ways people typically structure programs. Let's identify them, give them a, a unique name, so you can talk about them without ambiguity, and then we can think about the how to design programming languages around them, and now we have a terminology that we can use to describe algorithms independent of language. I also should mention the book um, does, it is concrete, so we didn't want to have patterns as an abstract thing, we wanted to give explicit examples. So there are examples in the book based on TEB and Silk Plus. Actually, there's tons of examples. Um, and all the patterns have at least one example in the book. Um, and, uh, and these are all useful algorithms um, given in, in runnable code you can download.